everybody, it's just me again. Gonna get back to one of my unboxing videos from the other day. My apologies, it's taken me a little bit. So, let's see if I'm, I'm setting up my camera just on its little stand to try to do the recording on this. But this is the boom for the new microphone and we're gonna go ahead and unpack this today. So what I have here, this is the pop filter that I, that I got with it. Let's just set that off to the side for the moment. And this, um, not 100% sure what this is quite yet. I'll look at the instructions. And we got this clamp. That's what holds the boom in place. You'll probably be seeing more of the kitty cats that I told you about last time. Here is a little baggie with some of the little components in it that I'm in the process of opening. So this comes with this that has a threaded section here and it also has this. So we're going to figure this out together. No, but here, come on, down. But here, come on, down. Um, this is the anti-vibration mount for the microphone. It's got like these little springy thingies here that basically allows the microphone to have a little bit of flexibility to it without getting in too much motion. That's just the foam that it came in, in the box. And this last piece I'm assuming is the boom itself. Just a rubber band there, another rubber band here. And just flipping it out of this, here we go. And here is the boom. Just gonna show my hand. It's a good thing to go. And I'm noticing that there are no instructions that came with this. Hopefully that's what that little paper in that baggie was. That's what we can hope. Because it didn't come with a lot of information on that. So I'd rather just go slow and make sure I'm not missing any steps. There we go. Yep, this is the assembly. Daisy, stop it. So my cat's trying to chew on another piece thing I have in here. So we're going to start with step one, which is right there. And we're going to attach the microphone cantilever bracket to the desk to the desk. Make sure I can get this in the frame here. So I'm thinking right about right there should be about good. I'm getting that all secure with that barbell bolt that's on here. I'm sure my cats are going to be messing around with that once they realize what it is. Yeah, that's on there nice and secure. Okay, so step two. Install the metal nut converter on the back screw of the top of the bracket. Now, since it is not very specific on which bracket it's referring to, I have to go by more of a visual aid on that one. And you can kind of see the details on that one matches 
this one. I mean, if I extend that out, then, it, then that more kind of matches the photo a little bit. But Tarot, no. And there we go. It says to attach that. So it's showing that I attach it with this, this direction right here. But Tarot, no. <laughs> Cat mom. Wouldn't trade them for the world, though. Okay, so I've got that on there. It doesn't mention how tight, so I'm just screwing it on fish finger snug at the moment. Step three. So let me get this shadow of the light here. Installation of the vibration proof frame for the recording microphone. And it looks like that just screws on to Okay, how is that supposed to work? Okay, in the picture, it shows the little metal nut on there before I attach this. But the problem is, let me see if I can get this from a different angle here. This and this. So I'm going to think outside the box here a little bit, and I'm going to take this metal nut back off. And then I'm going to screw this directly Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, what that doesn't show you, and hopefully this will come in handy for somebody else, is that this piece here, it unscrews and makes it compatible with screwing in this piece here. Which then I can then screw it onto, back onto here. So I'll show you that here in just a moment. Daisy, get off the desk. Come on, pumpkin. My kitties are very curious. <laughs> just kind of gave her a gentle nudge to get her off the desk. She thinks she's trying to help. Daisy, get down. There we go, so now this, there's the little metal part because we took this plastic part off there and then we have attached that. So now let's move on to step four. Sorry, step three was a little bit more in depth on that. Step four is installation of the handheld microphone shockproof frame. Okay, this seems like it might have had me do that before that so microphone shockproof frame so that is oh that's just if I have this different style of mic so if I have a style of mic that fits into this holder I would do the same with this part here I would unscrew this which is the same as this out of here and then install it where I just installed that. So once I get the microphone open, I'll determine which one of these I need and just kind of go from there. So what's the next step? Step five, fix the blowout preventer from the crossbar on the bracket. So basically the pop filter. So let's go ahead and Put this into the spot here and it's on its frame. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's quite springy, a lot springier than I thought that would be. And with this, I attach this. According to the frame, I attach it right like that to the frame itself just above here. Let's 
Okay, let's put it like this. Bind it right there nice and tight. Put it on there and the good old righty tighty lefty loosey because it never fails me on stuff like this. So let's go ahead and give it a get a good and snug here. And then I can just adjust this pop filter around as need be once I get the microphone in there. And then step six, we're not going to forget about that. That is to fix the power cord of the microphone to the bracket with the nylon buckle. So that would be what this is for. And since we don't have our microphone hooked up yet, I'm not going to worry about that quite yet, but... I will show you that in the next step of the process.